Although the obvious destination for sequencer outputs is the pitch, the flexibility of CV outputs and the many CV inputs on the O-Coast mean that pitch is only one of many things that can be controlled sequentially with the SQ-1. Here we are sequencing the O-Coast using MIDI from the computer, which leaves the four CV gate outputs of the SQ-1 free to use however we like. I'm going to start by setting both channels to output their maximum range of 8 volts so that we can be sure to have access to the full modulation range of the inputs we patch to. We have a few options for clocking the SQ-1, perhaps the easiest being simply playing by hand. Let's put it into step jump mode. We'll use a dual row sequencing mode so we can get two simultaneous outputs. Let's patch them to obvious places, multiply and overtone. I also have the O-Coast following MIDI clock. Let's patch its output to the SQ-1 sync input. The gate outputs can also be useful. Let's patch gate A to multiply, changing the duty cycle for the gate output and the panel control and attenuverter for multiply, we get rhythmic variations derived from the same main clock.